So there's a couple things coming up that I want to make sure that we're all aware of, just some things that are going on uh, just to bring to our attention. The first of which is that we have another prayer meeting tonight at 6 p.m. You can find login information both to log into the video call or the phone numbers that you can call in order to take part in that time at graystonepc.org. It's on the main page, uh, and that'll give you information on how to log in. Um, plan to be there a little bit in advance just so we can get started around that time. Uh, and so that, that time has become an opportunity for us to continue in prayer in this season to unpack some of the material from the sermon that's coming up as John is going to continue leading us. And that time is just a chance for us also to come together. Um, to be led and encouraged through scripture and to, to grow further in our understanding of what it means to follow after Christ in this season, especially as God is leading us to the next steps uh, as a church body. Um, there is, uh, there's another announcement I really don't want to make. Um, I got to be honest. And that is that this summer, um, just with everything that's been going on, summer's best two weeks is canceled for 2020. And a letter and an email went out this week alerting the families who had registered their kids, uh, as well as counselors who were applying to be leaders for camp. Um, but given the state of where things are at and our need to both protect the safety and experience of our campers and our staff and our leaders, um, that it is just not going to be something we're going to be able to move forward with. And so um, I am bummed. Uh, and I know you probably are too. Summer's best two weeks is, this would have been year 45 um, for summer's best two weeks. And it's a big, uh, it's a loss, um, but it is something we recognize that we needed to do. And so we're moving forward with that. Um, but we also don't want this to be a total loss. And so um, something that we are working on right now is a series of activities and challenges, encouragements for the summer for families that normally would have taken part to still be able to participate in something that keeps the spirit of summer's best two weeks alive. And so if you or someone you know would like to have something like that, um, summer's best is geared for kids going into kindergarten through eighth grade. Um, and so we're working to build appropriate activities, um, engaging um, pieces that can kind of make the summer still something to look forward to, something to do together, even if it's just as a family. Um, and so you can register to, uh, to receive that information at graystonesb2w.org. Um, so if you know folks who have kids, folks who were signed up, or folks who maybe now they'd lo they're looking for something like this, um, that could be something that they would benefit from. Um, it's not an exciting announcement to have to make. Um, but we, I wanted to make sure we all knew um, kind of what we were doing and going forward with um, as we seek to discern um, what's wisest uh, and what's best uh, as we move forward. So um, that's a hard announcement to transition out of um, because the fact is, is that God has demonstrated his kindness to us. Um, sometimes hearing that things are canceled hearing that things are um, being stopped, that we're disappointed in some of those things, it can be easy to miss some of the ways that God has shown his kindness and his provision. And so I'd like to have us stop and to take a moment to pray um, again, this time giving God thanks for the ways that he has shown us his kindness. And we can do that by just stopping a moment, pausing the video, turning to the people around you, and just saying, God, thank you for your kindness that I've seen in and then sharing with God, sharing with the people around you, how you have seen his kindness in the last week, in the last month or two, how God's kindness has been clear to you. In times where that's more difficult, this is a very important practice to reflect on God's kindness and why we can thank him for it. Um, so go ahead and take a moment. Remember how God has been kind to you in important ways and thank him for it and then come back. We're going to continue. I am thankful for the way that God has demonstrated kindness through the faithfulness of his people. Um, I've said this week after week. Um, we worship God as we sing. We worship God as we give back to him, and we respond to the ways that he's blessed us and provided for us financially. And I'm just so grateful for those of you who have continued to be faithful in giving to the work of the church um, and enabling us to continue the work, the ministry that God's put in front of us. 
Um, so you can continue to participate in, in giving back to the Lord and continuing to be a part of what God's doing here at Greystone. Um, by, by You can mail it in to 640 Church Street, um, or you can go online to greystonepc.org slash give and continue to be a part of, of this ministry that God's called us to. So um, thank you for those who've been a part of this, and I want to invite you to continue to participate in this way. Um, we're going to continue in worship because God has, has done such amazing things and he has shown us the way and he has shown us the way forward that as we seek after him. And so let's continue in worship as we prepare our hearts to hear from God's word and to seek after him who is the way and our hope and the truth and the life. So let us, uh, let's sing in worship to the Lord because of all that he has done for us. <laughs> 